Hey, what is going on guys? Anthony here with Prime Coding and in today's video we are going to be doing another viewer requested video. Um, so this episode is going to be a little bit short. I'm not really too uh, sure. If it gets over 10 minutes I'll probably just cut it there. But um, if it's under 10 minutes we'll actually do two of them. So right now this is a viewer requested video. Uh, this is based on logging. So let's say for example um, I was to send a message and if I was to right click on it and delete a message, the bot would respond, this user deleted this message, basically. Then with the other one, it would be message update, which is also known as just updating messages. So message delete is the, um, uh, what we're going to be doing for deleting messages and message update is uh, what we're going to be using for updating messages. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. So this is going to be in our main file where where all of our code is our command handler and everything. Um, for me it's called app app.js app uh, whatever you it might be index.js I'm not really too sure what you have it as but anyways uh, we're going to do the message update uh, function first. So base event, sorry, message update event. Um, so basically, this is going to be in our update at our main code, and we are going to go above our command handler. Um, if you have the standard standard command handler, it's fine. Da, 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 it's all going to work. Um, just forget about the command handler part. Just let's put it above it. So right now we're going to make it organized since this is going to be in our main code. We're going to do start of uh, updating messages and then let's go ahead and do end of updating messages. Now if you guys don't know what the slash slash means, it means a note or a notation uh, just to put in your code or you can let or just uh, cut something out of your code temporarily. So right now we're going to do bot dot on, and we're going to open a set of parentheses with quotation marks, and we're going to do message update with the capital U. We're going to go out of that set of uh, quotation marks, async, open a set of parentheses, old message, comma new new message so right now you should have the basics um we're going to do an arrow function right there my chair is really squeaky wow um then we're going to also include if old message dot content equals 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 new message dot content we are going to just return and close it off with a set of uh, uh, we'll close it off with a semicolon so now we are going to make the embed on which the bot is going to send wow my chair is cold wakey um, where the bot is going to send the, uh, I don't know why Discord isn't opening, so we can just view it. Uh, so the bot is going, this, we're, right now we're going to be making the embed where the bot is going to send the updated information. So for example, before old message content, it's going to show what the old message was and it's going to show what the new message is. So we're going to do let log embed equal new equals new discord dot rich embed and let's go ahead and do that now we're going to dot set author open a set of parentheses old message dot author dot tag comma old message dot author dot avatar URL so basically what we're doing right now is we're uh, we are providing uh, the 
avatar URL. So basically what that means we are, or I think it's the next one we're actually providing it. Yeah, it's the uh, next one. So the avatar URL is the your profile picture for your Discord uh, account. So dot set thumbnail. We're gonna open a set of parentheses. We're gonna do old message dot author dot avatar URL. And we're gonna go into a new line dot set color. You guys can go ahead and go into a. I'll show you guys right now. But if you do, um, I'll zoom in right here. If you do uh, the dot set color, open set of parentheses and quotation marks, and you put random all in caps, it will give you any color. But you guys can also go on Google. Uh, you guys can just go ahead and do, um, you know, we can do a hex color picker and you guys can go ahead and mess around mess around with the hex colors that you guys want let's say I want that just copy and paste it into there so we're going to stay zoomed in like this actually so you guys can see it better then we're going to set the description of the embed with dot set description open a set of parentheses and we, you could type whatever here I'm gonna put a message from a user was edited edited or you can put or updated whatever basically whatever you your heart desires right there then we're going to go into a new line we're gonna add a field we're gonna open a set of parentheses and quotation marks before you can put whatever there but we're going to do old message dot content comma true go out of that and we're going to add another field we're going to open a set of parentheses and we're going to do after go ahead and go out of that with the comma and we're going to do new message dot content comma true we're going to go out of that and we are going to go on a new line and you guys can do this the dot set timestamp if you want, meaning this will show you what time the uh, 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 embed was made and when this all happened. And it'll keep on updating over and over and over. And you guys can do a set footer if you want. Um, you guys can do that. I don't know what I'm doing. Whoa. You guys can do that. We're gonna be like, this was a, this is a embed for updating messages. Da -da -da -da. And we're gonna go ahead and put a semicolon on the end of that uh, last line right there. Then we're going to provide a logging channel. So we're gonna do let logging channel equals new message dot guild dot channel dot channels dot find we're going to open a set of parentheses ch we're going to make an arrow function ch dot name and we're going to do three equal signs and we're going to see if is if there is a channel named logs and if there isn't, if there isn't a logging channel, we're going to go ahead and return. Just like that. We're not going to provide any sort of um, reply or anything. So let's go ahead and try this. See if this works. I'm online. Let's see if we can get Discord running right now. It does not want to launch at all. Oh. Okay. There's like multiple Discords open. Let's see if it'll work. So the bot is online. We did the embed and we checked if the old message content 
equals new message new message content. Let's go ahead and go down here. And let's go ahead and do it on a different channel. We're gonna spam whatever, you know. Do edit message. Oh. New message is not defined. Oh, that doesn't have a ca capital M. Line 40. 40, 40, 40, right here. Oh, okay. New message did not have a, I don't see anything else wrong. Let's start right now. Oh, and another error. What is this? New message. Okay, that doesn't have a capital M44. Oh, okay. I haven't put two capital M's. Great. Alright, so we're going to do that. And we're going to edit message. Alright, let's send it again. Edit message. And it's not sending it. I tried this before, but it, it's not. CH channel dot name. Alright, I'm going to. Oh, we forgot to send the embed. So we're going to do logging channel dot send log embed. I am stupid. No wonder why that was gray. I was looking at it. That was weird. Okay. Now, so the bot realized when we weren't sending the embed, the bot realized that the meta the message was being edited but we can't it can't send it okay and I edited the message and it said a message from a user was edited here's my profile picture yeah I know it's my cute dog and here is my tag this is an embed for updating message on this is and the timestamp that we put here with the uh, set of parentheses is actually this so if we were to wait uh, maybe an ex you, know, you guys can test this yourself. I'm not gonna. But uh, if you guys were to... Oh, see, this is a good example. This uh, this message was sent last Tuesday. And this embed was sent Tuesday last week at 10.33pm. That was when I was actually testing this. So it, uh, it will constantly update the when it was sent and all that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it right now. I guess we're past 10 minutes for now. If you guys have any issues, just go ahead and join the uh, Discord server. We got anyone. Well, my bad. Uh, we have uh, people here that want to uh, also learn how to code, and we just had a pretty big weird incident here that did not go very weird. And uh, the Dark Demon got mod today, so nice. Um, so yeah, this is really it. Uh, I guess next video will be the deleting messages, just because. Uh, that's, so, so, you know, um, I don't want to do that right now, and I want to go to bed, <laughs> yep, but, yep, just go ahead and join the Discord server, uh, links will be down in the description below, uh, that's necessary if you guys need any help or anything, so, uh, yep, yeah, have a good one, bye.